Hi there, happy Thursday. My name is Carrie Ann Munstead and I am a portrait photographer and I started going on Facebook Live every single week um, a few months back um, to help to, sh to share my stories because I know that when we share our stories, we remove the shame and the stigma around them. And also just to be real and connect because through the mess of life, through all the you know, all the messiness is where real connection happens. So I was supposed to come on today at 9 a.m. And man, it's so funny how the universe works because my whole talk today was on self-care. Well, the reason that I didn't come on at nine o'clock was because my lack of self-care that I have had in my life over the past few months, um, I pretty much bottomed out from it today. So I was a crying mess at nine o'clock this morning. I could not come on and do a talk. So I think back to a time when I was participating in a lot of self-care. I think back to June. And if you guys remember, I was doing, um, I was trying to run my 5K. I couldn't run it, but I was walking it. I was out training, walking every single morning. Um, I had cut, um, I had cut soda from my diet. I was eating healthier. I was exercising. Like I was in such a great frame of mind because I was high carry, because I was, um, because I was giving myself some self care. I was doing exercise and eating healthier for myself. That was creating a great frame of mind for me that spilled over into my business was going great then um, family stuff was going great friends were going great like everything was like great and perfect and this is back in june and then um i'm not going to blame the heat but it got hot in arizona so i quit exercising while going out in the morning and walking and um that's just an excuse i know there are other ways that I, other things that i could have done but that was the excuse that i told myself right that was the, the voices in my head and so I quit exercising, which led to um, feeling really tired, which led to drinking soda again. And when I start drinking soda again, I start eating crappy again. And it just led to this spiral of things. And then um, I would get up in the morning, first thing, just start working. So putting in like 12 to 16 hour work days. Um, so literally for the past like three months, I have had almost no self-care at all. Um, and this morning, I it just hit me. I realized that like, I'm already like I have some personal situations that are going on that already have me feeling down. So, my I'm not at a hundred percent. I'm not operating at a hundred percent right now. So the whatever percent that I am operating at, I have a fraction of that to give to my business and a fraction of that to give to my friends and my family and myself. And what's happened is that I'm only able to give a little bit in each of those areas, but I'm not giving any to me. My little percent that I have left, I'm doling out to everything else, and I haven't saved any for me. And this morning, it just came all crumbling and tumbling down, and I pretty much lost it. Yeah, I know, Aaron, right? So I'm calling myself out today for not doing self-care. I'm not going to come on here and be like, hey, you should be doing self-care, right? I need to call myself out for not doing any self-care. And if you guys, I see Carrie's watching, Aaron's watching, if you guys have some great um, things that you do, um, put, them in the, put them in the comments here. Share them with me, share them with everybody who's watching this. Um, self-care has come up in a couple of conversations I've had over the couple, couple months too. It's called, you guys heard of this thing called the wheel of life. So it's, um, it's a wheel. I'm looking at my screen at it. And within that wheel, it breaks down into chunks of like different areas of your life, um, that you give attention to. And it's like, um, your business, your finances, your health, romance, personal development, um, family and friends, those types of things. Well, you know, if, if one area is really high, but one area is really low, I showed that wrong, <laughs> but it's like a wheel. If you think of a wheel and it's got like a, a bald spot on one side, it's like you're, you're going down the road and it's like you hit a clunk and then you're like going again and then it's like clunk and you're going again and it's a clunk. 
So you're not operating at your full capacity if one area of your wheel is high and one area of your wheel is low. And in this particular wheel that I'm looking at, there's like 12 areas. So say three of them are high and nine of them are low, I mean, you're really not operating at the, the highest level that you can be operating at. Um, different wheels are different. Wheel of life is what it's called if you wanna go and look it up. So in particular, the areas of fun and recreation and health are just my low points. Like there, None of them are high for me right now, honestly. I'm gonna be real and let you know that none of the areas are high for me right now, um, except for personal development. <laughs> I my brain is exploding from personal development everything else is like pretty low at the moment but like I don't have fun in my life anymore what do you guys do for fun I used to do photography for fun and then I made it a business <laughs> and it's not that I don't have fun in it right I love my job so darn much but when you ha are doing something that in work like you need something in play and I don't have like a hobby. I don't have anything like that anymore. So what are you guys doing for like your hobbies, like your thing outside of work that brings you joy and fun and like turns your brain off? I would love to know what that is. Um, I tried doing some coloring, you know, like there's adult coloring books for a while. I need to come back to that. Um, I would love your suggestions on what to do. And I've got to get back into the health realm, man. Um, I... I need to get back to exercising and eating healthier and I know that I need all that things so that's why I wanted to jump on today and say I'm calling myself out for those things so if there's nothing else I'm going to add some start adding some fun and start adding some um, some self-care in the terms of health back into my um, daily ritual so here are my three tips first of all start small because it can get overwhelming to me already just talking about adding two more things into my day that I need to get done but I know that there are two things that are going to eventually help my mindset and help all those things on my wheel of life if I address these two things. So start small. Um, I was looking up some different things and it could just be as simple as um, give, writing an affirmation to yourself and repeating it. Spending time outside alone, putting bare feet on the ground and breathing intentionally, mindful walking, those help a lot for me. Thank you, Erin. Those are awesome ideas. I remember I used to have a dog. Well, I have dogs now, but this is a different dog. And there was a grassy area um, outside my house. And I would go take my shoes off, walk my dog around and around that grass because it does, it smells good and it feels good. It makes you intentional. It feels like you're like one with like the earth. So that's a great idea. Thank you. I will look into finding a place where I can do that again. Um, but start again, start small, drink some water, um, ask for a hug. Watch a funny video on YouTube, read an inspirational a quote. Just start small, just incorporating one thing every day into your um, self-help, self, uh, self-help, <laughs> did I say that right? Um, self-care life, sorry. Second is schedule it on the calendar. I am notorious for working 12 to 16 hour days and not putting any time for me on my schedule. <laughs> it's for everyone else, not for me. So put in at least 30 minutes a day so you can do a couple of things, even if it's like to watch a comedy show. I'm watching this funny show right now on Netflix called Working Moms, and it makes me laugh out loud. And even that is self-care, laughter. That's something that I wrote down here. Um, look for opportunities to laugh. I feel like I'm just forgetting even to laugh during the day. It says, I, another note I put, do one pleasurable activity a day. I've got to figure out what that is. But um, Aaron gave some great ideas. So I've got to figure that out. So find one pleasurable activity to do every day. Schedule it. Put it on your calendar. And the last thing is do what feels right for you. I, in the, um, sorry, it's been one of those days. <laughs> I, in researching for this particular live, went online and it was like, uh, you can find a lot of different posts on what to do for self-care. And what you have to do is you have to find a few things that work for you. It doesn't have to be what anybody else thinks that you should be doing. Find something that works for you. It doesn't matter what it is. Just find something that works for you, feels good for you. 30 minutes a day, put it on your calendar. I'm challenging myself to do this. I'm at a conference for the next two days, but you know what? It doesn't matter. There are days. I'm going to put it on there and I'm going to do it anyway. 
So I challenge you to do that as well. Start small, schedule, do something that you love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Thursday, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>